Okay, welcome back. Oh, that was close. Picking up right where we left off, I guess. Um, today, we are going to go fight a wolf. Wait, which direction? Uh, yes, that direction. Um, I'm thinking... If I remember correctly, I've, I've tried to fight this guy like two times before and I cannot do it. And... I think it's a combination of... You really need ranged characters or a shield might be really helpful, actually. But... Hmm, I don't know if I want to try to bring in my Traveler, or if I should try with Noelle. My main concern is that for this fight, the characters that are the most effective are my lower level characters. So, even though they get better damage and whatnot, better maneuverability, they still die. <laughs> I wonder if Razor will comment on the rain. I don't know what he thinks about the rain. Look at all this wolf hook. Ah, I want a toll. Oh, stop training. Okay, so I could try with this party. Or I could switch it up. Hmm. Th this is my ranged party. But there's no shields here. Maybe what I'll try to do. We'll give it a whirl. I will protect you. We will try our best. She is level 39. They are Why Lisa? Lisa, why? Let's dance. Why are you low health going into this fight? Okay. I'll just let that uh let that try to heal her a little bit. Ooh, it looks so cool. Hey, let's take a picture while we're doing this. <laughs> what a better way to kill time. Okay, that's enough. She's mostly healed. We'll do our best. If this doesn't work, maybe we will try switching Noelle out for Vega. The only idea with Noelle is that, you know, her shield is instantaneous and she... Hey! also can heal the, be the party. Oh. Oh my god. Already. Oh, shield was very helpful, I guess. Oh my god. Oh. Not doing well. Okay. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Oh, how, how is Noelle's shield still? Oh, there it goes. Okay, really, this is just the healing Lisa show right now. There we go. You're in for a little shock. Long way. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Don't like how close you're getting. Well, shield, Nahida. Just do your best. Come a little still closer. There. I thought I was already gone. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Well, shield is gone again. Yep. <laughs> Don't like how close you are. Okay, I must leave no stone unturned. Why are you hurt? I see everything. No. No, no, no. Not Nahida. No, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. Now let's think about fighting. Oh dear. <laughs> of course. You're in for a little shock. Yeah, see, this is what, how this fight generally goes for me. Nothing happens. Everyone hold hands. Come a little closer. Maybe I should spend this time trying to get to the news. 
Here we go. I like this. Surrendering will be gentle. Hey. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, your ability isn't back yet. Darn it. Uh, let's stay. Huh? Leave it all to me. Hey. Huh. Blitz. Oh, nice job with that shield, Noel. Nice job. Okay. Steady as stone. The temple of wisdom. I'll protect us. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Once Noelle gets her shield back, I'll give it a whirl. You're in for a little shock. Actually, no, while we have it, might as well. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Just for the sake of Noelle. Okay, can heat up. I see everything. You get him? You sure can. Good job. Oh, nice dodge there. Nice dodge. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Just collecting elemental energy. Darn it. Missed it. Okay. Actually... <laughs> Darn it. Come back here. Andreas. Okay. I honestly forget what happens in this phase because I do not do this fight a lot. Try not to enjoy this. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. As a dutiful maid. Hmm. Not yep. a lot of damage here. Or <laughs> low leveled Noel. Leave it all to me. Oh, there we go. That's that healing that I wanted. Yep. I see everything. Get. Ooh, scary. Very scary. Everyone hold hands. Share my knowledge. Get. Let's dance. Hi. Hi. Come a little closer. I would really love to activate those blooms over there. Oh dear. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, do you have a shield? You do. Great. Good job. There we go. If you can believe it, this is, I think, the farthest I've ever gotten in this fight. Even though nothing has happened. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Very scary. Okay, it's this again. That's okay. Let the show be. You know, you're okay, right? Yeah, okay, good. Oh, I'm frozen. Right, that makes sense because of Noelle's. I mean, what is her name? Barbara's ability. Come a little closer. Darn it. <laughs> Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Okay, okay. Do you have your ability back? No, you don't. Do you have yours? Yes, you do. Great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I was so worried I was about to lose, Nahida. Oh, this music though is so amazing. You're in for a little Classical style battle music. I love it. How do I not get hit by this? Just grin and bear it? I don't like that. I don't like that. Yep. There's gotta be a better way. Come a 
little closer. Out of this area. I don't like how close we are. I guess it's a little hard to avoid because we're surrounded by ice, aren't we? Don't be such a brute. Oh no. You yep. don't like how low and how she is. Where is your ability, Barbara? There it is. Oh no. Tiring. Let's get the Noel. And then I'm just immediately gonna heal. Oh dear, oh dear. So scary, so scary. I see everything. Okay. Yep. So long as she's up, she can heal. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shot. Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> Alright, Barbara, you're our DPS for now. <laughs> If you want to run, now would be a great time to do it. The show begins. Yeah, okay, we gotta leave. We gotta leave. I don't want- I'm not- I'm not letting- I'm not letting Nihita die. Okay, so that didn't work. Ah, the weather is lovely and warm. <laughs> She's so sweet. Okay. She's also stuck behind the statue. Okay. This party did not work. Hmm. So I could switch this out with me. I could switch this out. The, the shield was nice, but I am getting a better feel for how to dodge those attacks. To be honest, I didn't have really any time to get Noelle in there. I mean, Barbara in there. Wow, we're going to have another one of these name games, aren't we? Um. So I think I might try to skip Hyperbloom. And just go straight for... I can't wait any longer! I'll skip ahead. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. Um, do you wish what there was they say a... is true. <gasps> you have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. It's so nice, isn't it? Okay, I forget what I was saying, but we're gonna try with this team. Ooh, crystal fly. Hello, my friend. Oop, missed the berries. That's okay. Just gonna regain my stamina. Probably just walk. Okay. Oh, look at the windmills. That's nice. Okay. I mean, I could just try with my main team and just see what happens. <sighs> We did fight him once before. Well, we fought Boreas. I still don't understand why the name changed. I guess they're two different wolves, but I don't understand why they're two different wolves. Anyway, um, we could try with the main team, because we did just level them a bunch. <sighs> so maybe, okay, yeah, if this time it doesn't work again, we will try with them. You know, when in doubt, try, try again, and all that. The hilly trail here? No. Okay. Hello, sword. <laughs> the random stamina bar. That was funny. Can you get him? Hey! Yes, good job. Uh, out of the frying pan, into the fire! Dick, huh? Yeah! Good job with that tracking. You're in for a little shock. Nice and spicy. As soon as he's available, I just want to deploy him at every closer. given opportunity. If I can entice Andreas. <laughs> nice. You're in for a little shock. 
I had a little bit of a delay in moving because I wanted to put down Guoba, but that meant that when Andres jumped, he jumped right to Guoba. And I'd really love Lisa's ultimate to come in. Yeah, this is much faster already for this first portion. Come a little closer. I appreciate Shanling's ability to apply an element to an area, you know? Hey, doing it again. It just occurred to me that I don't have any healers, but it's fine. <laughs> Come a My healing closer. ability with Barbara was honestly yeah. just freezing me more than it was healing me last time. By the end there. Oh! Oh dear. Oh, darn it. I see everything. Okay, let's do this. The temple of wisdom. We might as well do this. Surrender and be gentle. And this. And this. Okay, come here. Get in my little circle, why don't you? Good job. I think this is already at lower health than last time. Even though we got to a higher phase last time. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. Hey. Nice. Oh, oh, Shanling died. I didn't even notice. Nice and spicy. Where are you? There. Come a little closer. I'm a healer. So oh, darn it. I am not quite brave enough to go into my bag in the middle of this. You're in for a little shock. Everyone hold hands. Hey. Hop. Out of the frying pan. Hey. As much as I would love to collect those elemental particles, I'm just gonna stay over here. Late safe. Okay, now we'll collect. Race you! Okay. Boba, get nice, nice, nice. Okay, where are you? Finally getting the hang of dodging that. Happy about that. <laughs> nice. Good Come job. Teamwork. Oh, darn it. If only I could... I was trying to switch to Nahida right then. Share the the no. Oh, there she goes. Oh dear. What? Mm -hmm. Not happy about that. Oh well. It is what it is. And what it is is very scary. I don't know these attack patterns well enough. Which I feel like is something I say a lot, but it's something that's often true, I guess. Oh my god, I thought I dodged that. I guess I missed. Uh, why are you still running? Come a little. I see everything! Oh, this piano is amazing. <laughs> Come a little closer. I don't know how to dodge this one. Oh, it's this one. Okay, that's fine. You know, fine in a not fine way. Darn it. Very scary. Very scary. There she goes. I should have stayed home. Not Nahida. Not Nahida. Thank you. Everyone hold hands. Oh. It. Well, we got farther this time. Get there it goes. Oh. oh dear. I see everything. <laughs> Run, Nita. <laughs> <gasps> no. How did that happen? 
happen? Oh, she's little, so she didn't dodge enough. Oh, and I had to wait 50 seconds and she took ice damage. <laughs> no. Naida, I'm so sorry. The weather is lovely and warm. Things are about to start getting lively again. Aww. Oh boy. Okay, so that didn't work. That... Again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than one. <laughs> you are too nice to me. Okay, so that didn't work. That did not work at all. Should I try one more time with the main party? I think I will. Mmm, no. This is just- this is a worse party. Okay, I'm not gonna try again. <sighs> but I can't not do it. I can't never do it again. I'm not sure what to do in this case. Suffer, I guess. <laughs> you see where my thoughts went? Maybe I just need better characters for this situation. I did like- okay, I did like what just happened with that party. But... I needed a healer, too. I mean, I guess I could... Like... Move my characters- or the artifacts on my characters around. So that more characters in this party can heal themselves. Like, what- what does Shenling even- what does she have? Attack and defense. Yeah, I could give her some healing artifacts. When did this happen? Did my friendship went up? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure. In any case, um, I guess I could keep exploring. I could try to hit that spiral abyss, but oh, the the event, the event. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Go to quest. Talk to Lisa! What did it say? Potions, most potent. Lisa seems to be busy with something for once. Oh, oh darn it. Uh, please come back. Thank you. Navigate. Let's go! I don't recognize that, the position of that marker. Oh, it is the, um, the Knights Headquarters. Don't mind. Is she on the side of the building? No, it's the front door. The teleporter's on the side. Right. There should be a chest on that ledge. I just feel like there should be. Lisa! It's been so long! Where are you? 20 meters that way. What? Oh, I guess she's in the library. Oh my god, Lisa! You exist in the world! Look at her. Hello! Oh, it's you, cutie. Oh, I don't knew she was gonna say it. Of your visit. Are you here I to don't know. the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone. We are here to see you, of course. <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. Wow. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait, you're actually busy? Shocking. With work? That's not a sight you see every day. No, it is not. <laughs> you're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. What are you researching? I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. Wow, Lisa really revealing herself as the poster child of gifted kid burnout. Are you working on a research project? <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? What are you researching? It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. <laughs> Call her out. It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together. And you would, of course, be generously rewarded. But, if you don't want to... Let's hear the details first. As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But, or? most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Wait, I'm confused. Because the, the, the alchemy station is right there in the middle of the square. So, I mean, I guess, you know, the Knights could use that too, but... 
Oh, they probably have their own research labs where they do alchemy experiments. Oh, that's cool. Wait, I want to see the lab. That up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of Mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. I want to see the lab, Lisa. This disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. As it happens, potions are I already alchemy? have some experience with this work. Hmm. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Yeah, she does get, um, she has a bonus when crafting potions, apparently. I don't know how to craft a potion. I guess it would be at the alchemy station? Potioneering was also one of my one. academic specializations back in the Potioneering. day. Potioneering. <laughs> so Jean thought I was the best person for the job. But, to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use. And the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. Makes sense. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. I mean, I've done a lot of no alchemy. Worries. Ish. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. But I guess just using the standard recipes. Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general this public. This is so cool. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. This is actually really cool because this is... It's like, it's a fantasy world, but we're seeing here that they're still making advances in their own science. That's really cool, because normally, in a lot of different projects, they try to make that fantasy world seem not exactly set in the past, because this is a different world than ours, but, you know, it, it's, um, th there's a certain aesthetic to fantasy that doesn't really include technology, and so they try hard to keep you feeling that way, to not break the immersion, but this is so cool, we're seeing them in this game advance their scientific research. I love this, actually. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Makes sense, but I sure hope you aren't selling untested new invention to oh, the public. Like killing two pigeons with one stone! <laughs> Idea, Lisa. Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler? I mean, I sure hope she has experience in the service industry, because that's a whole different beast. When I was at the academia, students would often help out Retail with each other's too. research mm. projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. And you're assuming that the Traveler has never been to school, but I also don't know if the Traveler has ever been to school. Um, we can just think of it as a favor for Lisa, and I'm always down for a bit of a challenge. We can just think of it as a favor for Lisa. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. Thank you. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. Ooh, I think I might know where the shop will be, too. Teleport waypoint. Ooh. Yeah, because I was doing a commission earlier today. And I was curious that the, um... This area looked different. And also, this is where the commission normally is, but it was, like, 50 meters down the beach instead. Wow. <sighs> this is the wow. shop. Wow. Look at that potion. It's huge. Aw, look at all wow. the asters. Looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? <laughs> it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. <laughs> all the decorations. Sucros provided the ingredients and equipment oh, these needed two. to the potions. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. I still haven't met Albedo. Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I just remember that they're Sucrose's the primary Knights investigator. The have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. 
Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? This will be fun. My first time brewing a potion, actually. Ooh, your alchemical, alchemical journey has begun. Use your ingredients and a little inspiration to make some fresh new concoctions. Lisa. All you need to do is add the ingredients into the cauldron, follow the steps provided, and you're good to go. Yeah, that's very approachable for the people. Oh, look at that! It has a cute little animo style design to it. Cute. Okay. Place ingredients and cover more area to increase the tuning rate for this concoction. When the tuning rate reaches 100% or higher, you can concoct a potion and receive the finished product. This is like titration. So much like titration. How do I move on? Okay. Check if it... My brain is blanking, blanking out on how to say that word. Okay. Efficiency... It's not efficiency. Huh. Constitution strength to study when it's in balance. Wow. Press in or drag ingredients to place them inside the cauldron. Okay. So this would be constitution. Okay. Boom. Adjust ingredient placement direction. Confirm. What am I supposed to do here? Just fill this up as much as I can? Okay. Sure. It is like a little peaceful mini game, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Select bottle. Bare bones basic bottle. That's a fancy bottle for a bare bones basic bottle. A very plain and unassuming bottle with a comparatively flat shape that seems suitable for storing a large volume of liquid within. Okay. Beginner strength potion. Potion level plus two. Wow. Alchemy level one. You will initially have one chance to concoct a potion each operation cycle. By using more ingredients when concocting a potion, you can gain more alchemy level experience and potion ingredient experience. And there is a chance to create an even stronger potion. Make good use of your opportunities to concoct potions. Add to shop storage. Okay. Ooh, looks like you finished your potion. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Try to sell your product. Higher, 28 meters. Over here. Oh, cannot use in current state. Ah, uh, that's where the marker is, though. Oh, okay. Second try worked. Click potions. Boom. Stock. Looks like we're done with all the prep work. Why don't we take a short break over there while we wait for customers to arrive? Okay. Financial report. Cycle one. Wow. Oh my goodness. Is that Paimon? Pay close attention to the financial reports and see which potions are selling better. That way you can figure out just which potions are the most in demand. Okay. Oh, it seems like everything is going well. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Not a bad start at all. As for Yay. what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. I'm having flashbacks. Uh, that sounds kind of hard. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. Oh, thank you. That's so helpful. Market news, cycles two to four. Good Hunter is coming up with new dishes for adventurers who love battling. The owner of a fl Mondstadt flower shop is looking to have their fresh flowers grow more lushly and extend the time they are in bloom. What do you think? All right. Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Yeah, a strength potion and like a revitalization potion. Go ahead and potion. try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Well, that's like what... It sounds like what Sucrose was doing when Using we first met her. Herbs in the brewing she was talking about her in science. Turn, alter the effects research. of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. Oh no. All right, cutie. Why don't you get started? Oh no. Oh, look, there's people. Yay, thank you for coming to our shop. Lisa. Go ahead and try to cul cultivate some herbs. 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 That's an involved quest. Ooh, lizard. Got him. Okay. 
Cultivate. Different cultivation areas can be assigned to ingredients separately. After a certain number of operation cycles, your ingredients will mature and can be harvested. Once you complete the harvest, the cultivation area will automatically cultivate the previously selected ingredients. The cultivation progress of ingredients will not be saved if you change the ingredient assigned to the cultivation area. After your alchemy level increases, you can unlock more cultivatable ingredients. You will also be able to go to the nice Favonius support staff to expend funds and expand the cultivation area, allowing you to cultivate more ingredients at the same time. Wow, we have a farming minigame. Okay. Cultivate these. Boom. Change. And cultivate these. Nah, let's not change. Okay. Press the cultivation area to move more detail. Oh, that's what I was just trying to listen to. Okay. Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Ah, uh, uh, I should probably oh. mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. Wait, what about you? <laughs> yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. <laughs> okay. She's passing I'll her work off on you. us. Good luck. Of course. Uh, I might knew this would happen. Yeah. Bye, Lisa. Okay, so I should talk to Freda. Hi, Freda. Greetings, honorary knight. Greetings, Paimon. Aww. My name is Freda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and our loyal attendant. Ooh, Paimon, what did you say to that? Paimon's fame is really Oh, she likes it. it. That's Paimon. cute. <laughs> um, oh, there we one go. One small correction, though. Paimon's her companion, not her attendant. I like that better, too. <sighs> My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. <laughs> It's just like something out of a novel. She's a fan. You're practically legends at this point. I'm I'm a bit jealous, actually. Don't worry about I'd it. I love to wander the land in search of adventure like one of those knights you read about in stories. <sighs> Seems like a really fun life. It's not all fun in games. Also, logistics, not to be underestimated. Extremely important. I bet. The knights in the stories are always running into all sorts of danger. Anyway... We've got some prep work to wrap up, right? My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. If there's anything you need, just let me know. I would like to purchase You're supplies. Left. I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. Okay, well, I can get a uh, cultivation area for 400 gold. I can buy fancy bottles as well. Okay. And the cultivation areas are going to get a lot more expensive very quickly. Oh. Paimon! Paimon! And Paimon. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> That's really funny. <gasps> Yay! I got stuff. Okay, my goal is to reach 50,000 revenue. Yikes. Go to the shop. I have reached. You have reached the shop. Okay, thank you. I'll open the Operations Handbook. Ah, use your Operations Handbook to actively end the current operation cycle. Resting on Lisa's chair can also achieve the same result. You can view the completion status of various tasks in the current cycle. Click the icons to track your objective. Okay. So this is the... Oh, when certain conditions have been met, you can spend funds to improve your final potion products. Enhanced potions can be sold for a higher price. And the potion's efficiency... or I, I can say this word in my head, but not out loud. Um, our special characteristics will not change. And then stonks. Right. Okay. And market news is at the top. Okay. Let's definitely start planting something. So that it's ready. As soon as possible. How can I tell when it's done? It, it'll, um... Flower or something, right? Let's see if I can make any potions. 
When placing ingredients, you can cause the potion to gr gain values of five different types, including constitution and so on. Um, when you finish concocting, the, the value that is the highest will determine the type and grade. Okay. So well, maybe I should focus on trying to get one area maxed out. The value that was not sufficient to reach the next potion grade will be converted into a potion level of plus zero to plus ten, increasing the sale price. Okay, so there is use. Maybe? No. Increasing the tuning rate to over 100%, causing using a beautiful bottle or receiving a lucky bonus can all increase the potion level. Okay. Yeah, let's see what happens. So, studying constitution strength. Let's do constitution Um, mm, I see my own dilemma here. Well, I can't even... Interesting. I can't even get to the first level. How do I get more of these in here? everything, but I'm almost out of mushrooms. Yeah, how do I even get to the... Hmm. There's 145 at the mushrooms. Without the mushrooms. There's, there's 130. 140. Oh, it's the same this way. How perplexing. Okay, I think I like the other way better. It uses a lot more of these flowers, but... Okay. Oh, <laughs> I tried to check that box, but it didn't take. Okay, basic bottle. Constitution potion. My level goes up. Increases. Great. Okay, good. Add to the storage. Oh, and I can't. I can only do one potion per cycle? Wow. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Potions you have concocted must be stocked before they can be sold. Um, market news is a guide. Paimon will help you record the demand. Okay. There's a lot of information here. When your each operation cycle ends, your potion sales will be totaled up with the financial assessment based on sales volume. Check the report to see if your potions are in tune with the market demand. Okay, I was trying to do something. How many potions am I allowed to have at once? Uh, a couple. Oh, three. This is my financial report. I want market news. Yeah, battling and growing. So I was hoping that Strength and constitution would apply to both of those. Lisa. Okay, cycle two. Revenue. Demand exceeds supply. Oh no! The sales figures are looking pretty good. Let's keep it up. Look at Paimon. These little icons are so cute. I'm also. Hi, Lisa. Have a question for me, cutie? Well, if there's anything else you want to ask, don't hesitate to come and find me. I guess she'll explain things if you forget how it works, because I probably will. Um... <laughs> I'm really impressed about how they're... Let's see if I can grow anything new now. I can. Okay, well let's do one round of this, and then maybe I will... ...do... ...other things. Um, how do I see... Not that- ooh, ooh la la. This? I want to see- oh! Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, this is locked. Where's my... Market. Market knowledge. <laughs> There's so many buttons and none of them are market info. 
potion stock. What's this? Financial report. There it is, market news. Market news! Strength and constitution? Yes. Okay. So constitution hit both of those. And there was something else it looked like that would satisfy the first one. Okay. Different ingredients also have 10 different characteristics, including warm, endurance, and so on. If two or more of the corresponding ingredients are added, the potion may gain this characteristic. Initially, potions can have up to two characteristics. Oh, good! My area got bigger. Fantastic. Okay. Warming, steadying, endurance. Whatever that animo. Dexterity. Okay, let's do horse. Ooh, it's very tall. Horse tail and calla lilies. How many blocks are you? Oh, I can't flip it. Okay, other way around. Other way around. One, two, boom. I do another one of these. I have so many mushrooms. Not the best I could do. I could rotate this and then fit another mushroom in if I so desired. Might as well. Hee hee hee. Do you think that's a good idea? Hopefully we made something nice. Beginner dexterity potion. That's not what I wanted. But okay. Ooh, you can now purchase cauldron upgrades. Okay. Why? Maybe I should enhance. If I can do one of these... Yes, let's enhance the strength. Oh, and it takes gold. That's fine. Confirm. Can I enhance it again? No. Because the strength was our best selling, I think. Purchase. Improved cauldron. Depending the area. Or I can grow more plants. Well, let's definitely get this first. Ooh. No, let's be wise. Let's get this first. Oh, I can get them both. Heck yes. Okay. Because... I think it is best to... If I'm going to expand my uh, ingredient consumption, I need to expand my ingredient growth as well. Mysterious. What is that? What does this do? Intelligence? Well, let's do the chinksen. Okay. Dock our potions. Dexterity. Can I stock more of these? No, I can't. Okay. Might as well. Because we have three types and we've got three areas. Market news! Make the constitution, endurance, and steadying. What is. Are those substats? And then that mysterious one. What's this? Profits. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I don't think we're gonna do as well this time, but it's fine. Financial report, cycle three. Yeah. <laughs> well, Paimon's happy. Ensure ingredients are ready. Let's check the market news. Demand. Oh, I've lost it again. Wait a second, what was that? Flying off the shelves. What's that mean? Yeah, the- okay, the strength and the constitution did the best. Unfortunately, I forget how to make these things. <laughs> and the collagen expanded again. Nice. Harvest! Confirm. Okay, so let's do... Actually, switch out the chinksen for... Strength. What's this? Let's try to make a super strong strength potion. What does 47% mean? Okay. So this is for... Wisdom and healing. Charisma... Fragrant healing, endurance, dexterity. Well, this is strength and warm, right? Boom. Boom. Many of- Oh, no thank you. As many of these as physically possible. Don't mind. I could do one of these. Just for fun. 
Oh, and that'd be my last one. Yeah, sure. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, okay. Complete, please. Ooh, look at that. What's that? Beginner strength and dexterity. Okay. Maybe people will like that? If the two highest values are of the same grade and reach a certain standard, a combination potion will be produced. A combination potion will have two types. I still can't say that word, I'm sorry. And though the sale price will not increase, it can more easily satisfy different market demands, increasing sales volume. So, I can replace my strength and dexterity potions with that strength and dexterity potion. Can I enhance? Yeah. I don't know if I want to enhance the dexterity potion. It's not doing the best. I'm gonna save it until demand... Oh, but I should enhance it now anyway. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to enhance it and then take it off sale. So we'll see if the... Um... What's it called? The... The enhancement stays whilst it comes off to the shelves. Okay, I can do another- oh, and I can buy nice bottles. Purchase this. I want to prioritize that. And bottles. I can buy some. I can buy one. Um... Gorgeous gem bottle. I like the drop bottle and I like the gem bottle, so let's do drop first. Thank you. Okay. Now, can I only use this once, or do I just have it unlocked forever? That's my question. Okay. Where do I see my demand? Market news. Oh, it is dexterity. Well, my dear friends, I have something interesting for you. Take this off. Add this on. Dock. Let's see how that does. Oop. <laughs> Financial report. Oh, it plateaued! No! Oh, why are you plateauing? Why so? Oh, okay. Demand is changing. Giraffe of Spring Vale. Spring Vale is recruiting hunters to hunt an exceedingly speedy boar king. A scholar from Mondstadt has unearthed an ancient stone tablet and is currently trying to decipher. Okay. Dexterity and wisdom. So I think we can reduce our Dreyun chilies. Change this one to horse tail. And then this one. I, think so. I guess I should have stayed that way last time. You're for. I do have a lot of you now. Let's change you as well. Um I'm expecting four. I have zero of these. Eight, seven, six. Four. Okay, it should stay for two rounds, and then we can rotate that and that's what we Oh, wait, how many do I have, though? Ah, I'm so sorry. Okay, this is telling me the current store call. Okay, okay. So! What am I thinking about? It's so many things right now. This is a surprisingly involved thing. Yeah, might as well. Whatever. Okay, dexterity and wisdom. We'll get them on the second cycle and then we'll just have extra. It's fine. Once you've mastered the advanced technique of stacking ingredients, each time you concoct a potion, there will be squares in which ingredients may be stacked within the cauldron. As your alchemy level increases, the number of stackable squares will increase. Okay. Wait. I want wisdom and dexterity. So, we'll start- ooh. Fancy. Endurance is really the way I need to go. Let's just stack as many of these as possible. Hmm, I don't play enough Tetris for this, do I? I could just keep that. Okay. Or should I perhaps try... 
Ooh, I have stackable spots. Nice. Mm hmm I have so many of these mushrooms, I might as well. Okay. And I do have one stackable slot that I can use, which means I can do this. Okay. Let's try that. See what we get. Ooh. I don't know. Let's try it. And I will learn if I can use it multiple times or only once. Increases nice. Oh, and I get themed lanes. Okay, add to the storage. Enhance. Um. And you. Might as well. Okay. So. Operations Handbook. What are you telling me? <laughs> My plateau. So sad. Oh, wait, I get stuff. Oh my! I get a lot of stuff. Reach alchemy level 5. Upgrade the alchemy cauldron one time. Purchase one potion bottle. Concoct one combination potion. Concoct potions with five different types. Revenue reaches 50,000. Still my goal. Still my goal. Okay. But we got 30 Primo gems. Yay. Oh, wait. Sorry. Let us speak with our friend Hertha. <laughs> Hertha. Oh, sorry. Freda. Extra supplies. Okay. This first. And then I should be able to buy another bottle? I sure can. Let's get the gem one! I like it a lot. I wonder if you get different bonuses if you put different types of potions within different bottles. Or if it's random. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, let's just take everything out. The market says... Dexterity and Wisdom. So let's do strength and dexterity, constitution and wisdom, and then dexterity. Hmm. Yeah. That's the vibes I'm feeling. Sorry. Hi, Lisa. End. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, it went up a little bit. What's this? Demand exceeds supply. Oh no, I'm sorry! I guess that's good. I can raise my prices. Unfortunately. Okay, they really like the constitution and wisdom. And the strength and dexterity. Okay. Oh, Sarah! Hello there, honorary knight. I've heard you're helping Miss Lisa out with running the knight's alchemy shop. The manager says that we're now colleagues in business here in Mondstadt. We'd like to thank you for your frequent patronage and loyalty. Darn it! Oh, I didn't read it, but it said it went away. I think that was Sarah from Good Hunter. She just gave me money for some reason. Okay, harvest all. And then... What am I lowest on? Okay, the horse tail can stay. What are you? Cycles some chores too, and you are too as well. Okay, I definitely want to get those going as soon as possible. So, start on the bottom here. You. And... You. Okay, and then... more. Let's do this because I'm just low on it and that makes me nervous. Okay. Turning around. I'm gonna try something. Hmm, weird. Okay. So we still want... Hey, hey. Oh! The strength and dexterity and wisdom. Can I see my stock? Yes. Strength. Okay, so let's do wisdom and something else. Where's my wisdom at? Wisdom was the book. Chinkson. Here we go. I can find another one if I rotate. And another one. Wisdom and constitution, maybe. You know, staying up late, studying. Take that? No, not 
Not the way I need to. Leave like that. And I got another one of these in there. Who's overlapping? Who is it? It's you. <laughs> Music is so jazzy. <laughs> and then I should be able to fit you in. Okay, okay, okay. How about that? Ah! Fine. <laughs> Mushrooms it is. Hopefully that's enough. Please be enough. Constitution and Wisdom. I think that was my goal. Constitution and Wisdom. Ooh. I maxed out. I unlocked something? Oh, are they different orientations? Interesting. Okay, Enhance. Enhance. Actually, I don't know if I really need to enhance the um, non-blended ones, because I don't know if I'll put them back on sale, to be honest. All right, I did my best. Hi, kids. Freda, staring her down. <laughs> One of these. And sure, heart bottle. Okay. Shop. Okay. What do people want? <laughs> Strength, Dexterity, Wisdom. So, let's definitely do... Strength. Oh, it's another Constitution and Wisdom! Oh no. Why is this a higher price? It's fine. Um... Dexterity, Strength, Dexterity, Wisdom. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we'll do this one to see how it sells. See if it sells any different. And then you're just the highest price of the rest, so we'll stock these. I want to see... No, I already did my plants, didn't I? Okay. End! How many times am I allowed to do this? <gasps> no! No! My stonks went down! Paimon! Don't be so positive! Don't lie to me like this. <sighs> okay. Curses. This is so sad. Oh, that's what I thought I could do. I thought I could have planted something last time. Oops. Let's see. Wait, maybe... Where's my demand? Market news. What do people want? Okay. And... I still don't know what that missing thing is. What do you think it could be? I'm thinking it's probably this. Do another one of these. Okay. Have fun, my children. <laughs> I'm worried that I'm like running out of time to do this. And not doing very well. Okay. What's the other thing that. Market news. It's the, um. Deciphering wisdom. And I thought it might be constitution, but maybe it's endurance. Which is which symbol? Oh, that's not even an option. Um, wisdom. Maybe strength. 
We do strength and wisdom. What do I have for sale? Can I see what I have for sale? <laughs> I have constitution, wisdom and constitution, strength and dexterity. So let's try strength and wisdom. Maybe. Strength. I have so many of these. Oh. Which one's with them? It's you, the Jinx. Think that's enough wisdom? Okay, let's try that. Complete! Good. That does look nice, doesn't it? Okay. Complete. Strength and wisdom. What I wanted. Oh, and I got a lucky bonus! Thank you! I can now purchase another upgrade from my cauldron. Enhance. Let's enhance this. Yay! Intermediate. Let's go here. And it looks like it's the cultivation area expanded by itself. Um, let's do this then. Can I still get that cultivation area? I sure can. Great. And supplies. I might as well buy everything, right? I have not been pressed for resources just yet. Okay, I wanted to see if maybe I can plant something and it'll be ready next time. Now, I'm noticing I'm not growing any mushrooms anymore, which is concerning. Because I need mushrooms for everything. Okay. Um, so let's take off this constitution and add the strength and wisdom. And hopefully people like it. What happened last time? Strength and dexterity. Constitution and wisdom. I should try to get different types out here, to be honest. See if people like them. Okay, we recovered. We recovered. We're back up. Good. And they liked the strength and wisdom. Great. Oh! Ah, <gasps> Beetle! Oh my gosh! I recognize her! I haven't met her yet! Hey, what's should up? I, should I not? Should I not witness this? Should I look away? I don't know what to do. Beto, uncrowned lord of the ocean. God, she's so cool. Beto, known as the captain by many, is the leader of the Crux, an armed fleet from Liyue. She's a heroic character who values righteousness. Her many great deeds have earned her the love of the people. Her many subordinates are proud to sail under her flag, and the children have turned her experiences into song. Yes, Beto is a very famous, famous character indeed. Of course, with such fame comes folk sayings and rumors, with people even saying that Beto can perform such superlative feats as being able to split the mountains and seas. As to how much of these tales are true and how much are an exaggeration, it is likely that only the legendary Captain Beto, Beto herself knows the answers. It's been a while. And... I don't know you. Eula, Dance of the Shimmering Wave. Not content to accept her fate, Eula has chosen to face the hostility of others head-on and to prove with her blade that the noble spirit forsaken by her predecessors is, is alive and well with her. What is this talking about? I don't know what this is talking about. Should you meet this bold knight, be sure to cast your reservations and greet her cast aside your reservations and greet her courteously. She, in turn, will be sure to extend the utmost courtesy to you. Oh, Beto and Eula! Wait, you two know each other? Didn't expect to see you two together. <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. I love it. <laughs> I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. You know, she's a cryo character, and her design is pretty similar to Kaya's with this, um, this blue thing that's hanging off her. <laughs> wow. You're Cape -like taking thing. the initiative and making friends? Did my mom hear that right? My mom be nice. <clears throat> Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. 
I was just being uh, hospitable, as is expected of a knight. Oh, so she's a monster knight, huh? a Favonius knight. I thought we were getting along pretty well. You're <laughs> telling me you were just being polite? Oh, no. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just thought that, after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. <laughs> Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. You're still beating yourself up about that? Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. These character interactions are so well done. Misunderstanding? What happened? She probably like spilled a potion on her or well, something. A few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So I had to resort to uh, a more hands-on way of getting them to calm down. Nice. Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and when she walked in... Oh, it... Wasn't a pretty sight. Oh, she thought Beto had done it all. I am noticing now, I guess her tie kind of has the Favonius filigree on it, I think. I should probably take it from here. Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port, so we decided to step up our patrols in the area. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before. And they were sailors. My suspicions were raised, so I asked their captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. <laughs> captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person and told me to check with the port authorities myself. I insisted that she should accompany me there and, well, you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. Hey, you were, you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I'd had a few too many and... Anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, and that was that. Misunderstanding resolved. She's a very polite pirate. I'm assuming she's a pirate. I mean, armed I fleet. Bad, though, so Please. I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Beta was very good in a social situation, huh? Once we got to talking, uh, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. She's got that charisma. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. Ah, I meant to say earlier, drop the captain and just call me Beto. There's no need for formalities between friends. They get along very well. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. Anyway, as for why we're here, <laughs> I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to oh, see I love what the her deal is with these monster really potions cool. you've been brewing up. Well, since you came all this way, why don't you buy some to bring back with you? Uh, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. <sighs> Let me think. Oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? Could be good for if the ship's in a storm. No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. It's just that uh, I have this friend. She doesn't lack for anything, and she eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza or if she just has too many things on her mind. Ooh, I wonder who she's talking about. Is this another character we can meet? Wait, this friend you're talking about, you must mean... Yep. She's no stranger to rare and precious treasures. Who? Who? I'd wager that to her, <gasps> Paimon! A chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. A treasure collector? Who could that be? Alright, we'll get started on that order for you right away! Great, thanks for the help. Oh, that's so sweet of Beto. Oh my gosh. I love her character already. Hey, Kaya! Dragon Spine Expert. Okay, Constitution, and then just fighting things, and then sleeping things. Eula. What about you, Eula? Is there something we can make for you? Uh hmm. I don't want to put too much on your plate. It wouldn't be fair to ask you to make so many potions at once. I can only make one a day, so it's fine. Beto came all this way. Her order should take priority. 
Any potion requests I have on my end, I'll just submit to Lisa later. The same goes for anything the Reconnaissance Company needs as well. Oh. Aw, you're so considerate of other people. Oh, uh, you think so? The Knights have always looked after me so well. Maybe it's rubbed off on me a little, or something. <clears throat> but I still have a lot to learn. The next time things get heated, I should approach the situation in a more level-headed way. I think you're doing great, and everyone can see how hard you're trying. Yeah, I think you're doing great. Exactly! Compared to when we first met, you're practically picking up friends left and right! It's just like Tongue Death Bard once said, the winds always <laughs> change their course. <laughs> Was that an impression? Thanks, you two. Your kindness really means a lot. Aw, wait, this is so sweet. This is so wholesome. So wholesome for these characters I don't know. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, darn it. You, you? I was trying to talk to Beto. Beto came all the any potion request. Aww, you're so oh, uh, <clears throat> but I Let's still have a lot this to really learn. Quickly. Exactly. It's just like tongue. Thanks, you two. <laughs> okay. Beto. Oh no. How's the potion making going? Hope you didn't run into too much trouble. Hand over the potion. Special guests will sometimes drop by during an operation cycle. Concoct potions in accordance with their orders, and you might be able to hand them out. Constitution and relaxing. Okay. Special characteristics steadying. Okay, here you go. I hope that works. Perfect. Looks like my gift is all set. Is it time for your return journey then? If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Where is that? Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so it's probably time I headed back. Don't want to keep my crew waiting. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. Thank you. On behalf of the Reconnaissance Company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. I look forward to meeting you both. Aw, she paid. Thank you, Beto. Um, I don't remember where I was in my cycle. I think I was just starting. Harvest all. Okay. Oh, so you are just starting to grow. Alright. Well, you'll grow eventually. Um. So. We wanted. Clear out in good condition. So warming. Yes, definitely warming. Ooh, different shapes. That's cool. Let's do warming first. Because I have, I have a lot of constitution types. I think. Okay, okay. Just looking at what I have. Studying and strengthening. That could be good. Okay, man. There we go. One more of those. Rotate. Another one of those. And do another one. And then I can just throw a mushroom in there. <laughs> it does concern me that I have this guy and this guy and only one of each. What are you again? Endurance and strength. Okay, well, we'll give it a whirl. We'll see what happens. I don't think I can make a, a tri-colored potion. Okay. Do this, that. <laughs> Let's do this one. Endurance and Warm. Intermediate Strength Potion. Plus three. Ooh, I got more stuff. Okay. Okay. So I should focus on trying to... Oh. Can I enhance them all? I think what I want to do... I want to go make my purchases at the shop and then come back and see what I can upgrade. Donkey cat bottle. Yay. This is a... I don't know how many cycles I'm allowed to do this for, but it's going longer than I expected it to. Okay. Ooh, I can do glaze lilies. Charisma. Normal. Intelligence and um Well we gotta do the um Windable Asters, of course.
Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. So let's do this one. Might as well. You never know when I'll have to throw these back on the shelves, and maybe they need to become gifts for someone else. Okay. Plus zero? Huh? What? I was not paying attention. I was startled by that plus zero. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Let us stock the shop. So, we want battle potions. We want warming potions. This is the warming one, right? Yes. Um, strength and dexterity seems good. And then constitution and wisdom. Oh, I've got um, we could just do constitution. But we might as well do constitution and wisdom because maybe the dragon spine people will appreciate that. Okay. Time to sh close the cycle. I think that was the end of it all, wasn't it? Because it looks like- Oh, Blanche! Congratulations are in order. We're happy to hear that one of our biggest customers of Mondstadt General Goods is now also a colleague. Let's go out for another- Let's look out for one another going forward. In Mondstadt, every store often helps each other out, since being in business isn't easy. Only by supporting each other can everyone create a healthy environment conductive to business, and we can all make a mountain of Mora together. Take this congratulatory gift. It's how we do things. Thank you, Blanche. Okay, and then I have ingredients. <laughs> How long does this cycle go? <laughs> or this, uh, this event? Harvest! Thank you! I don't know if I should be growing other things. Well, let me take a look. I need... Hmm... I have so many mushrooms! Mushrooms, you can stop growing mushrooms. Let's do something that I don't have much of. We'll do the glazed lilies. And then these... I haven't used any and I have 16. So we'll do these berries. Um, and then what else? Oh, we have two sweet flowers growing. Why are there... Special, special... Oh, I see. Okay. Um... Let's see. Well, let's do this one, actually, because this one just restarted, it looks like. Right? Okay, wait. <laughs> the end lines. Blaze lilies. Where are they? No, sweet flowers. They do take two. You need two, so we'll switch you, because you just restarted. Okay, okay. We'll do this one, which I haven't planted yet. Confirm. <sighs> okay. And then, what am I... You're telling me things. Artisan's gift. Oh my goodness! Dialogues of the Desert Sages! A polearm! It's a... Oh, what are they called? It's one of those staves with a, um... The symbol of Mercury on it, whatever it's called. Principle of Equilibrium. When the wielder performs healing, restore a energy. Okay. Curious. That seems appropriate. Ooh, what's this? Refinement material. Ooh. Exalted Earth, that is so cool. I'll have to read more on that later. Okay, revenue reaches... Oh my goodness, what is this? Two million is my goal. Because then I get the crown. Hey, I reached 50,000! Okay, revenue reaches 50,000, stock a total of six potions, expand four cultivation areas, expand ingredient, cultiva ingredient cultivation area to the limit, upgrade the alchemy cauldron two times, concoct one potion of medium grade or above, Reach maximum level with one type of ingredient. Reach maximum level with three types of ingredients. Okay. We've gotten all of our basic awards. And now we just keep going in order to get the higher level awards, it would seem. What do the people want today? Ooh. And we figured out everything. So, strength, endurance, dexterity, warm, constitution, endurance. So... Constitution. Endurance. Who has endurance? The horsetail. Okay. Okay. Or. I want the other one. There you are. Oh, 
Oh, and I now have two overlapping slots. Very lovely. One there, I suppose. Okay, so what were these? Constitution. Anything else that's constitution? I, mean, I could do another mushroom. Just, um, here. You think that's enough to get constitution and endurance? Let's hope so. Ah, darn it. What is this? What are you? Tranquil Bay Bottle. Dexterity? Oh no. That's not at all what I wanted. Okay. Very well. Endurance and studying, I suppose. Oh! Consumed mushrooms! Oh dear. I really need to stop clicking buttons before I- Oh my goodness! Look at all the stuff I got! Oh, it's from getting all my rewards. It hadn't loaded in. Sorry for walking into you, afraid I was, um... Entranced. Okay, I need to get better at alchemy. <laughs> Wow, look at all that stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get what I wanted. Okay, strength, endurance, and dexterity. Endurance, constitution, and warm. So, you should be on there. Okay. Where's strength and warm? Endurance and warm. We want this one. Warm. Strength and dexterity. Oh, that is good. No, not. Constitution and warm is what we want. Hmm. We will take you away. Healing and warm. Strength and wisdom. Warm strength? No. <laughs> Oh, it's so hard to remember all the substats at the same time. Okay, let's focus on one and then the other. So this is endurance and warm. Oh, wrong button. Endurance and warm, and we want constitution as well. Okay. Here you go. No, I don't like that one. This one? No. This one? Healing and studying. Fine, this one. It's the higher price one anyway. Oh, we're almost out of it though. Okay, fine. Not fine. Goodness gracious. Fine, we'll just do this one. It's higher than that one anyway. Okay. And then for Kaya. Wrong button. Kaya, what do you want? You want to... Strength. Endurance. Dexterity. Do we have strength and dexterity? We sure do. Okay. Hopefully that does well. One may hope. Cycle nine. Yikes. How long am I allowed to go for this? How many cycles are there? That's what I want to know. Um, do we just keep going until... Until? Oh, I do not want to end the cycle. No, thank you. You just keep going until 50,000? No, we've already made it. Wait, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Market is the same? Okay. Let's get those ingredients. And then y'all can grow again, I guess. I really need to figure out how to get this other... Hmm. What, does, what do the people want? Wait, what's the report today? Dragon's Spine people appreciated the warmth. That's good. Um. Okay. Where's strength? Here it is. No? Here? Wait. Yes? No? Yes. 
<laughs> oh, running out of this chili, so yikes. What am I going for right now? What do I want? What do I want in my life? Hmm. Strength and dexterity. Oh, we have so many horsetails now. That's interesting. Okay. Strength. Dexterity. I'm trying to do it evenly. Ooh, we have so many dandelions now. How do we get so many dandelions? <laughs> Hmm. Or whatever. I need to grow more chilies. Yikes. Okay, now we have three of each. Another one. I've got four of those guys. I've got four of each. I want these to be a little bit stronger. I can. So, mushrooms. Mushrooms! Shroomies! Oh, right. I've already used my overlap. Okay. Hmm. Intriguing. I could remove this. And then that's one. Or in a wrong orientation. I have this before. Oh, sorry. Okay, fine. I'll just have to do this. And hope! No! <laughs> How did this happen again? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. This is so sad. Oh. <laughs> This music really reminds me, actually, of, um, right now at least. Howl's Moving Castle. Why do I have a bag notification? Can't have been these. Oh, was it all of this stuff? I don't know what it was. Whatever. <laughs> Hello. I need to level up some more. <laughs> this is not going well, my friends. Market news. Calvary. Strength and dexterity. I tried! I just keep getting dexterity! <laughs> ah! Take that off. But Dragon's Vine still wants warm constitution. Warm endurance. Why did the music stop? This is so sad. Okay. Strength and dexterity. Well, here you go. And... Sure. Let's do these. Let's just do it. I need to get them out of there. Lisa, why? <laughs> what is happening to me? Slightly improved. Ever so slightly. Uh-oh. Wait until two days later? Temporarily closed? Okay, fine. I guess I could go and just, you know, jump the time forward. Oh, yay. Hooray. But, I think I'll just wait until tomorrow or so. No, actually, I don't know when I'll be able to play again. Okay. <laughs> we keep going. Time. Day after tomorrow. So jazzy. The music is really fun. Oh wow, is that, um, Wang Shu In? Way out in the distance there. Wow. I didn't realize that was the angle of view we were at.
You really start to contemplate life when the music stops and you just hear the ticking of the clock. Oh, cutscene! After a brief trial period, the potion shop opens to great success. Hello, people. <sighs> we just keep getting swarmed with more and more customers! It's been non-stop work for so long, Paimon's starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. Business sure is booming. We've got a lot of orders. Paimon's not sure we can fill them all on our own. We need to recruit more people. Uh, maybe we should hire some help. Yeah. Or maybe Lisa will do something. <laughs> Taking a break, cuties? Discussing logistics. I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. Nice. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Okay. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Paimon kind of thought you were just slacking off. <laughs> <laughs> hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? She's right there. We could just invite her into this conversation. She's right there. Wait, sure, I will talk to Freda. Hey, Freda! Traveler! Paimon, hello! Is there something I can help you with? Logistics! Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. <sighs> yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, increasing Ooh. your efficiency Oops. in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Improve the efficiency. Looks like... All the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. Please, try it out. Ooh, okay. Alchemical efficiency. Graph level 1. The chance of a lucky bonus is increased to 30%. Takes money. Okay. Craft level 2. Um, can I do this one? Alchemy level... Ooh, I want this one. Yep. Yep. Insufficient funds. Whoops. Over here? Great. Okay. Oh, I see how this is. Chance for lucky bonus. Um, large amounts. Base ingredient production... Increase, wait, ingredient experience gained. Okay, sales efficiency. Dock. Sales volume increased too long. Well, let's do, oh, darn it. I shouldn't have spent all my money on the first page. This is where the money gets you, huh? Hmm. I want this one, but it takes money. Okay. We'll do this one, but we'll stop there. I think I might have to anyways. Okay. Ah, uh, makeup and inspiration. Intriguing. Oh, look at all the people here! Thank you for visiting our humble shop! <laughs> so hopefully, you can expend funds and consume special alchemical fertilizers to increase the rate at which your ingredients will mature. Okay. The funds consumed will be decided by the amount of operational cycles remaining before the given ingredient would have matured. Okay. Harvest all. Okay. Let's see what we have. We need more of these. We need more Dryun chilies. Yikes. We have plenty of horsetail. Confirm. Um, Calla lilies. We have a bunch. So let's do... Do we have any asters going? We do. Let's do more chilies. Um, Chingsen... We have plenty. So... We'll do more of this. Sweet flowers. 
I want more sweet flowers. Dandelions, I want more. Berries, I could use more. Okay, I think everything else has to stay. Yeah. Okay. I could accelerate. I'm not gonna. I'm going to go over here. I need to make something fancy and something inspirational. Okay, what do I already have in the store? Um, lots of dexterity things. Dexterity and endurance. Um, healing and endurance. So, let us do something cosmetic. Is that what it was? Yeah, okay. Well, I've never done a cosmetic one before, so I'm definitely really curious to try it out. Hmm. Sure. Um, another one of these. Let's see what the substats are on these. Fragrant. Perception. Okay, let's emphasize this one. Okay. I'm happy with that. We can do some mushrooms. Um, and Shinxin. Healing and wisdom. I'm just looking at the things, I have a lot of steadying and constitution. Sure, let's try it. Oh, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? Never mind. Mushrooms it is. It's going to be a very dedicated cosmetic potion. That's fine. Hmm. I've already used my two. Haven't I? I have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not the most efficient it could have been. But. We're working on it. Add to the storage. Enhance. We'll enhance this one. Oh, wait, what's that consume? Um, I need to pay more attention. Okay, it's gold. I don't like how these are just dexterity, so we're not gonna do those. Want to save the money. Right -a. Okay. So, purchase supplies. Freda has bought new supplies. Thank you, Freda. Alchemy Cauldron. Oh, definitely, I want this one. And she has new bottles. <gasps> wow! Look at those! Oh my goodness! Oh, that was very expensive. Oh my goodness, that was so expensive. Oh no, all the things I wanted to buy. Oh, curses. Well, hopefully that allows us to do more blends. Okay, let's take these out. We want intelligence, basically, and charisma. So definitely the charisma. Um, anything with wisdom. We need to get these out of there. We'll do those. <gasps> I need one more! Oh my goodness, I thought that was it. <laughs> and we'll do dexterity. To get these guys out of there. Because we're running out of space, aren't we? <laughs> we're gonna have a bad cycle, my friends. But it's okay. It's okay. We're working on it. We're working on it. We are working on it. Ah. Demand exceeds supply. Well, that's good, I guess. Hey, Lisa! <gasps> Sucrose! Thanks for visiting! Thanks. Look at this unlicensed Hi, science Lisa. we're doing! Sucrose! It's been a while since the last time we saw you! On the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. You found the place. At first, I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs. But judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the result. <laughs> oh, Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects! You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. I mean, it's been at least ten days, but... So it is kind of related to her research. I That's be fun. I would surprised if she became a potion master one day. Still got a long way to go. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? 
Yep. Wasn't it? It's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Sounds good. Thanks to your I shop, love this, actually. It's so the cool. The public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Yeah, wasn't that literally the plan? Lisa, how did you forget your own plan? The proper training, though. Those potions could be dangerous to use. That's a good point. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. Are they going to add another mechanic to this event? So, There's already so Mr. much happening. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. I love this, actually. This is so clever. I guess. You would like us to also take part in this exam? Yes. Although, it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. That makes sense. Do you have to, like, make a potion to present to you her will, of course, as my exam potion? And then <laughs> that's how this works idea. then? I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have improved. I guess I could give it a go. Wonderful. Then, let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. Oh, is this going to be another minigame in my minigame? Yes. So many minigames. All you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit. Time limit? satisfies the main objective. Oh, no. I can't even hit my own objectives. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. <laughs> if you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep. That's, a, that's a good Just design. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, what are the requirements? Oh dear. Potions produced during the exams will not be saved. You will be refunded the ingredients. You have three attempts for each stage. Okay. There are eight stages you have to complete in sequence. Each test stage comes with its primary and secondary objectives. Complete the primary objective to pass the test. And complete the secondary objectives to increase your test rating. If you fail, you must wait a certain period before retaking. Oh no. Okay. Okay, a constitution? Okay. Ah! No more than three ingredients? Sure, I mean, that's easy. Especially if I'm gonna get my ingredients back, which is wonderful. Thank you all. <laughs> mm, that's not the one I wanted. I want this one. Do I get bonus points if there's other things going on here? At least one characteristic. Intermediate and potion level is five. Okay. How many overlaps do I get? I get two. Great. Okay, I don't think there's a need for mushrooms. Alright, ooh, it's four stars. That's my first time making a four star potion, I think. Exam passed. Exam results, sublime mastery. New record. Hooray. <laughs> Do I get anything for that? I get another cutscene. Your movements are quite practiced. And your potion meets the requirements as well. Congratulations on passing the beginner exam! Yay! Oh, that was a piece of cake! That was nothing. Wow. I really thought it would be more difficult for someone so new to potion making. I'm sure the higher levels will be. Alright. I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback. Look 
looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam. If I didn't think that this was already predetermined, then I would be worried that I just made the higher levels more hard for myself. <laughs> I'm going to head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. I love it when the NPCs, or I shouldn't say NPCs, but when the other characters acknowledge Paimon. It's so nice. Okay, I think I'm at the start of a cycle. Hello. Ooh, bonus. Exciting. Now we want to save money, so I'm going to try not to accelerate. What do the people want? Oh! I got... Something? What was that? Oh, oh. We go here. We go here. Wow, level up operation bonuses one time, five times, concoct one potion of advanced grade or above, reach a sales volume of 30 for a single potion in a single cycle, and pass the beginner's exam. Cool. Yay! Oh, this is fun. <laughs> alright, what do the people want today? Oh, wrong button, it's alright. Still Charisma and Wisdom, and then Perception and Wisdom. Okay, Charisma and Wisdom. I do want a dual-sided one, but then... Perception. Who has Perception? Endurance, Relaxing. Healing. Technique. Fragrant. Perception. Oh, perfect! I can make a dual-layered Charisma and um, Wisdom thing then. What are my wisdom? Oh, these ones. Uh, these ones here. It's the least amount of overlap. It's one. I just really hope. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just really hope that they're both strong enough to count. It looks like wisdom is slightly under. Maybe if I mushroom. Mushrooms. Mushroom. Mushroom. I think that'll do it. I think it'll get both. Please get both. Please tell me I did that correctly. Um, yeah, we'll stay there. Wisdom and Charisma. Technique and Perception. I maxed out my mushroom skill. <laughs> hmm, Lisa says. I got something. Oh darn it, I accidentally closed Lisa's thing. Okay. Well, um, enhance. Um, the one we just got, definitely. Because we only have maybe one more day left in this, um, cycle. Or this cycle of, you know, want on the market. You know what I'm trying to say, right? I don't know what I'm trying to say, so maybe you don't. Because <laughs> I don't. Let's enhance this. Why is it changing from plus 10 to plus 2? Get it? <laughs> oh, it's an intermediate potion now. I get it now. Okay. Uh. Rita, can I buy anything? I will pass on the bottles for now. Um, operating efficiency. Bonus. Alchemy experience. Planting. I can do this now. Good. Experience. Potion stock. Oh, it's too expensive. Darn it. Base potion sales volume. What does that mean? That more... We'll try that. I think it means that I'll sell more. In short. So I definitely want... To... Is that Amber? No, it's just a random person. Uh. 
Definitely want to give it a try. Okay, the people still want perception, wisdom, and charisma. Okay, this one's got to stay because it's fragrant. Yes. Okay. Take this one off. Put that one on. And wisdom. You're my only wisdom one right, right now, aren't you? Strength and wisdom. That's fine. We'll stay here. Okay. Let's do it. End the cycle. <laughs> we recovered, guys! We recovered! Look at that! <laughs> Came back up. Good, good. Okay, cycle 12. Out of a million. Let's actually... Oh. You can directly consume ingredients to obtain XP towards increasing your ingredient level using the Analyze Ingredient function. Um... I see. So... I analyze. Instead of putting the potions into, I mean, the ingredients into the potions, we can analyze them. And this will um, increase efficiency, or whatever that word was. <laughs> well, obviously. Ingredient level has to be shown from. Oh, okay. These are all maxed out. I see. Hmm. It doesn't cost anything. I mean, it costs one, I think. But I can keep doing it. Strength and... What is your substat? Oh, it doesn't say. Darn it. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do one of these. Maybe two. Because I don't have anything maxed out for Charisma. It looks like I have something maxed out for everything else. Okay. Stay there. <laughs> oh, maybe I should change these, actually. Cultivate ingredients. Yeah, everything restarted. Okay. So, chilies. How many do I have? 28. Yeah, we can change that. <laughs> Do one of these. Changed this guy. Oh, and these are higher quality ingredients too, aren't they? Okay. What else do I have a lot of? Probably you, right? 23. That's okay. Do I have any of these growing? No. Okay, we'll do more of those because I just consumed some dandelions. I haven't even used the dandelions. We have more of these than we do of dandelions. We'll change these berries to this. Okay. That's all we'll do. Moving on. Okay. What do the people desire? Same thing as last time. I think I want to use this opportunity to try to anticipate something in the future. What do I have in the stock? Constitution, strength, dexterity. I want constitution and strength because that makes so much sense. I don't have any. Is that what I was trying to get before? <laughs> okay. Come on. There we go. What's constitution? Oh wait, that's constitution. Strength. I'd love to do this, but I don't have that many of it. We'll have to do these. Okay. There we go. This. Okay, we need more strength. Little bit more strength. And a mushroom. I'm trying to make it even on the little display up there in the corner. Wait, this is really cool. That's really cool. Okay. Oh, and I can even do another one. Very cool. Okay. Maybe I am being a foolish person. But I want to give it a try. And it's going to be a cat because I said so. <laughs> okay. 
Nice. And enhance. We'll enhance this one. Because I definitely want to get the most out of it that I can while it's up there. Wait, should I enhance anything else? We'll enhance this one. Okay, and then that's it because we do want to try to conserve our money. And right up. Um. I don't really have enough for anything. Oh, wait, I do. Crafting. Well, let's do this one because that experience seems to be very helpful. I'm not entirely sure. And we're back over here. But I think we'll stay here, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Yeah, exactly the same as last time. Because demanded- Kaya! Long time no see, most reliable honorary knight. I've heard that you've reinvented yourself once again, this time as Jean and Lisa's business consultant. Can't say I'm surprised. I've been leading the cavalry- Excuse me. I've been leading the cavalry company on a long-distance training march over the past few days. And just when we arrived back in the neighborhood, a pair of adventurers discovered a band of ba a band of badgets. We're taking- a band of bandits were taking advantage of the chaos caused by some monsters. So I ordered some delivery for the company, a little appetizer before taking care of those troublemakers. I never imagined the meals would come with complimentary potions, which restored the knight's strength and reaction times to what they were before the exhausting training. The cleanup operation went surprisingly smoothly. It was only afterward that I learned the potions came from your shop. You are doing well, I see. As the cavalry company received your assistance, I naturally must write this letter of thanks. Also, please accept this payment as a token of gratitude from us. I hope that we will have more opportunities for such fruitful cooperation as colleagues. <laughs> Another cutscene. <gasps> oh my goodness! Hi, Ma. Huh. Looks like you're running a business. I did not expect to see these two together. Oh, hey, Diona and Tone Deaf Bard. <laughs> don't the change. Shop. I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. Mm hmm. Again with the nonsense! Don't listen to him! We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Oh, that's really funny, actually. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Cutstail, so she asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. I still love Diona's delivery. She's the so great. over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting oh, that's cool. Ready, he insisted on tagging along to help. <laughs> Margaret having no idea that she hired an Archon. <laughs> well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Well, that explains your enthusiasm then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. Anyway, I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. Even the slime condensate? The bar saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. So we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Oh, what's this? Ooh, what is some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see! <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragon's A dragon feather? Dragon's spine? It was ruined in the snow. <gasps> and it's still cold to the touch even now. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. Very bard like to be inventing words. Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. <laughs> Unfortunately. This ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we discovered with just the recipe testing alone. And I don't know if I can grow feathers. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. Uh-huh, because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? Probably. Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. 
That still doesn't solve our problem, though. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? You can infuse drinks with different effects? Oh no, alcoholic potions? Huh? Infuse drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? This is an extreme close-up on oh, Paimon's face. Oh, what you're saying. <laughs> Ahem. You're looking at one of the most popular duos <laughs> the satisfied in expression. Can be seen right now. Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in Tibet. <laughs> I think Vega's having a lot of fun being a business owner. <sighs> but what do potions have to do with drinks? Combine them. Can add them as an ingredient, of course. Potions can add all sorts of different effects. For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. I'm sure nothing bad will come of this. Wow. I never knew potions could do something like that. Paimon's example is a bit of a stretch, but more reasonable effects are absolutely doable. Hmm, I see. How about a potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again? Could you make something like that? I could try, or potions wear off over time. I could try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go making promises we can't keep, Traveler. How are we <laughs> supposed to make a potion like that? Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. Aw. It's okay. Don't give up hope. <laughs> find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? Ooh, backstory! <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. Potion of non-drunkenness? <laughs> this may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours yeah, to make a yeah. drink that so you're prevents the same wavelength. from getting intoxicated. So you mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh. Sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? That should be doable, yeah. Perfect! <laughs> I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. <laughs> That's interesting. They'll finally have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity. It's decided <laughs> then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. I will do my very best, say, Diana. I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. Okay, okay, so this will be some sort of wisdom or intelligence. Okay, hopefully I still have. Okay, I'm going to probably have to end here because I realized that the video got very, very, very long. Sorry about that. But I'll pick up right here next time. Um, before I forget this. Oh, event things. Oh, nice. Ah, <gasps> I get a wish. Nice. Oh, and some more. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we'll start here next time. And hopefully one of the potions I have can help out Diona. I don't know how long she'll stick around, so I don't know if I can brew something specifically for her. Um, but I have a bunch of dexterity things. Maybe that'll help? I don't know. Anyway. This is a lot of fun. It's a very involved event. Uh, and I'm really enjoying seeing a lot of these characters again. I mean, for me, it hasn't been that long, but I bet for a lot of people, it's been a long time since I've seen cutscenes with characters from Mondstadt. So I'm having a lot of fun, and I bet everyone else is too. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.